What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia, Season 7, Episodes 5 and 6. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut and early access. Check out that Twitch if you guys want to watch these live with us before we even post it to Patreon. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's hop right into today's episodes. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is Toga's house. That would make sense. Blood sucking devil, a demon child. I'm assuming this is her room. Going down memory lane. Let's talk about a twisted way to get into a flashback. A red sparrow dancing. What the hell? Who knows what that could do to a child mentally? Ugh. In her dream, she's subconsciously sucking the blood, and that's what makes her feel. Ugh. That's a good point. Whether you laugh or cry, tomorrow will come. As he burns down the remnants of her memories and her. Doesn't matter if we if we laugh or cry, so I might as well laugh. Sad Man's Parade was one of the strongest abilities in my hero history. If she can access that for even 10 minutes, whatever the length for blood, that's insane. Back in the cave with All for One and Shigaraki. Oh, what the hell? What in the fucking... Elden Ring? Hand Spider? Okay. Man, this... The dark side right now is looking messy and twisted. This is getting crazy. Okay. The second decisive battle, okay. The next morning, we don't get to hear that one either. Martial law. The undercover doesn't like that. You're not going to be able to stir anything up under martial law, huh? Now we're going to start the end of my hero. They did want it so Deku can't come here. And they're not going to come back here anyway. So they're like, cool. Everyone's saying goodbye to their families. Deku, Todoroki, Jiro, Uraraka, Akugo. How many other families have we seen? They're not related, but as heteromorph for like, Respect. Harry, Oda, the two kids we've influenced the most in this life. Homeboy from episode one. Don't act like I forgot you. I remember you, bud. New headquarters, 30 kilometers. Troy. I mean, yeah, but we all are. <laughs> I wonder how that story arc is going to end. Are they going to have a final fight? Are they going to make up? Is she going to kill Toga? She wants to at least understand her perspective. Very empathetic of you, Uraraka. Like that. Hmm. My opinion, everyone's weird. How, uh, 
how Todoroki loves cold soba. It would make sense that Toya likes hot udon. <laughs> That's funny. Shout out Bakugo. It feels like we're gonna be hitting the climb the, the climax of my hero the entire story real soon, you know? Like it's crazy. <laughs> he actually has a quirk like that, but he just forgot. Damn. He's lost track over the hundreds of years. I really do just love getting in his head, though. We rarely ever get to just hear his thoughts. Forty-year McCollin is expensive. Sixteen-year age. Their code words, obviously. I wonder if he's going to be able to tell about their ill will. Wow. Wow. That is very interesting that he wasn't able to detect that. Still using what's her name's quirk. Man, he is so OP. A little private talk, a little conversation. Has to be the end. That's what I'm saying. Feels like we're getting to the climax. This could be a part of our plan, though, to fool, to really make them really act, you know? I think this is hopefully a part of our plan. I do like the naval like lightsaber. That's what I was saying. It was some great acting. Okay, Aoyama. I'm curious. He's curious as well, but it's like it really doesn't matter, you know. Right? How is this gonna go down? Olga, we got Dabby, I'm assuming Spinner. I do like his outfit. Oh, more Nomu. And Shigaraki, what, what the hell? We were able to tap into Kurogiri's uh, warp gauge? Monoma. Monoma is genius for that. Oh, that's so smart. Mirko, Edshot, Endeavor. Bad gum? Sun Eater? Nejire? I love how Yama's the one saying this. Okay. Okay, don't end the episode here. Okay, I'm glad I'm watching one more. Alright, this is the next episode. A few days ago. I'm assuming we're gonna get the plan told to us now. I am curious how they got around the lying and the uh, ill will, you know. Uh, purple hair boy Shinso. We have him mimic their audio. And it would be Aizawa's idea because it's Shinso. Shinso's Aizawa's right hand man. Come on! Ooh, new ninja fits looking fire. I agree. Awesome's looking wavy. Yeah, they're just like blank slates, vast vessels for his voice, you know? So, I like that. I like how there's limitations, though, and requirements. That's hilarious. W, W. Monoma. I love how Shinso and Monoma are key players in this plan. Like, it's actually a really smart plan. So crazy to hear him say that. He's been such a gangster from, from the beginning. Aizawa is really that dude. Oh, 
Wow. Now you can do one of the most crucial heroic things you can, you know. You can legit save the day. <laughs> as we as there's no side characters here, I love that. As we cut back. This is really gonna be the start of another crazy battle. Of course that goes all to his head. He's a puppet master. Come on. He loves it. He he needs it. He needs a little bit of head trip every now and then. Come on, Monoma. This gives me so much X3 The Last Stand vibes. The war is starting, you know. Boy, Todoroki's here. Toya, come on. You think little bro is just going to let you get away with all that? Come on. We even got Troy putting in work. Shout out. Shout out power and loader, power lifter, whatever his name is. Cementos, ectoplasm. It's a plan we all refine together. What would that be? Monoma really did do the fucking goaded play today. I got goosebumps for my man. That is... Why does he remind me of Crust? He looks like him, has like a very similar quirk. RIP Crust, man. Who's pulling him through a Kurogiri portal? It has to be made by Monomo, right? Who pulled him separately? I, if there's one person I'll always respect and think they can put in mad work no matter the situation, it's Fat Gum. At Kimino too. Oh. And Todoroki and Davi. All for one is a great shit talker. He's on moderate levels of shit talking. The sky above UA High? What in the Sokovia fucking Age of Ultron is this shit? This is where we brought Tomura. Tomura. In a in a cage in the sky, so we can very limit his uh, what he can do. You know, we got Sun Eater, Mirko, Bakugo, uh, a uh, best genius, Tamaki. I already said Tamaki, and Deku was gonna fight Tomura, but Deku got pulled by Toga to fight over here. I wonder when Toga's gonna activate Sad Man's Parade. You can't crumble everything, and when you do, certain defensive traps activate? Okay, best genius. I like that. How so? I'm loving this fight. This animation choreography is insane right now. Coffin in the sky is a badass name. Don't end the episode here. I'm going to be butthurt. I love that we have Cementos and Power Loaders on this always. And Hatsume. That's one thing I do love about this show. If you take an L against a villain, you will learn. You will adapt. And I love how he's gassing up Hatsume. <laughs> she was talking about floating. I remember that. And that's where Momo comes in handy. 
Yeah, who produced the energy? Kaminari and other electric cork users? Manga? Manga's in there as well? He probably just yells zap, zap, zap. I love how everyone, even if it's supporting, has such a cool part to play, you know? Mirko putting in work? God damn them thighs! Is Aizawa here too? Oh, he's locked up. Monoma again! He got double! And manual, come on! Now he's significantly stronger. God damn, you beautiful woman. When I saw the hands in the cave. Wait, wait, we're erasing his quirk. What the hell is going on? We're starting what feels like the climax battle of this not only arc, but show. Like, this legit feels like we're getting... I know that uh, manga for My Hero did just end yesterday, as I'm recording this, matter of fact. But, uh, uh, great episodes. Loving where the characters are going. Loving the plan. The plan was so ingenious with, uh, uh, with Aoyama, with Monoma, with Shinso. There's so many aspects of it. With Hatsume, Cementos, Power Loader, everyone. Like, I... Thoroughly am enjoying this. I'm very upset that Deku's not here is the main pivotal part of that plan, but it is going to get crazy. It is going to get hectic. I am ready. I'm going to be catching up real soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions. Check out that Twitch to watch these ahead live with us before they're even on Patreon. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.